came with the place. I got this place last year. Um, the pandemic uh, led me down a different path uh, to five acres in Joshua Tree area and uh, came with this five kilowatt solar system that I didn't have to do anything to do except buy the place. Instead of you know, doing all the math and all the stuff I do for clients, uh, it was already yeah. done for me. So it's really cool. nice. So you so, do solar for a living? I do solar for a living, yeah. Solar electricity mostly, but you know, the big, the big ball in the sky, I'm, I'm a fan. Cool. <laughs> so tell me about um, your property here and yeah, so, where um, are we? This place actually used to be a buffalo ranch back in the 50s. And uh, there's this little two bedroom house. And uh, so when I saw it, I was like, wow, I think this could be a place to like really like make resiliency happen. Um, so uh, uh, the solar is in place and um, I'm working on getting some water, some permaculture. I have an opportunity to do a uh, aquaponic system in a uh, abandoned uh, koi um, breeding ground over uh, there. Over here? That's what that is. It looks, it looks okay. like a huge dilap dilapidated swimming pool. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's where the fish used to be. Um, looks like a little lap pool. Yeah, yeah, it could be that too. <laughs> but I can also do aquaponics, so you know, just working on uh, the avenues of uh, of what can be done. I'm gonna swap out uh, the last of the gas powered stuff. I got a, um, a so stove. fully electrify the house. Yeah, totally electrify the house. Exactly. Awesome. Yeah. Exactly. I want to do the same thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm I, working yeah, on it. It is. Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> you know, and uh, as we know, it's it's always a work in process, and uh, and uh, you got to roll with things a little bit too. Yeah. So, <laughs> Uh, but it's been really great with the uh, getting together with you to uh, get this battery system built. Cool, so, yeah. Because solar without batteries, if the grid goes down, the solar goes down. So yeah. you know you got this investment. Most um, people don't realize that. Yeah, and you know it's a hard uh, a hard lesson to learn the hard you know to learn the hard way. And yeah. uh, so anyway, with these does the batteries, grid go down a lot here? It doesn't, but it did go down for 21 hours three weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that was, and it was still 108 degrees here at the time. So yeah, it's wow. probably more than three weeks. It's probably been a month, that whatever. But uh, um, it, but when all of a sudden when you're without power, especially if it's 108 degrees and you can't run the AC, and you have solar, that's super annoying. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, so with these batteries, uh, they'll have about a day and a half worth of juice in them. Uh, and that's without the solar feeding them. So luckily we get 340 days of sunshine out here. Yeah. And. Uh, and this nice array that really has no sun on it, except for the shade I'm putting on that panel right there. But uh, so anyway, I want to make this like a haven where, uh, you know, um, uh, when the next zombie apocalypse hits. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, but you know, there's earthquakes and stuff. Uh, if the grid goes down. It could be more than one. It could be more than, yeah, it could be more than, yeah, exactly. It could be more than 21 hours before, uh, you know, Edison's got it back up online. So, yeah. uh, so anyway, solar to batteries to my house sun solar batteries house is cool. uh, yeah so uh, yeah so this is um cut maybe a little unusual with uh, installing the solar first we're going to do an ac coupled solar array um and that's going to be hooked up over by the garage so that'll be fun we're using um the solar converter um and then for the battery, we actually bought some LFP cells off Alibaba that showed up on the side of the road. <laughs> Pretty much. And we were, we were happy that it actually showed up. Yeah. Um, and then we are actually um, assembling that into a whole battery pack uh, with the Nuvation BMS. Um, and I think it's going to go pretty smoothly. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, you know, with the, the challenges of getting the trench dug and, oh, look, a leaky pipe. And I mean, you do this kind of thing and you yeah. just, uh, you know, you're going to make a couple extra trips to Home Depot. So keep your receipts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, the other interesting thing is we're going to do basically a whole house backup, right? As much as possible. Yeah. Um, you know, we're trying Except to. the hot tub. Maybe well, the hot tub. Well, you we'll know, see. If it's, we'll yeah, see. exactly. That's the thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, I would like to see what we can do to do that. You know, it's just a matter of what's going to come back on after a grid failure comes back to life. You know, the hot tub probably automatically start heating itself yeah. and pulling a big load off of that uh, solar arc. No, uh, but if I can have the the uh, hot water heater and stove I'm going to get, don't need to come on. And, you know, if nobody's here kind of thing. So anyway, it's like thinking about all these scenarios. It's like, okay, you know, the grid can go down for a long time for a lot of yeah. reasons, you know. And uh, so that's kind of number one. Um, but just to be able to just, you know, like be in a spot, eventually, like you never have to leave. You can grow yeah. food, you got your water supply, uh, you got your energy. Um, you and the your... air conditioning is kind of a mandatory here. Yeah, it is, it is. Yeah. But I've got these mini splits that came with the place and they're super efficient, super quiet, super cold. Um, cool. So yeah, yeah, so uh, 
Yeah. Cool. Well, let's take a look at the back of the panels. Yeah. So I was really stoked when I first looked at this place that they used Iron Ridge as their racking material. This is what I use. I like it a lot. Nice. And they also have Enphase microinverters. These are the uh, these are IQ sixes. They're up to IQ sevens, and one of these days they're going to roll out the IQ eights so that are really going to be a game changer. Um, so, but anyway, it's all AC as it goes back to the house. And um, these are Canadian solar panels made in China. Not my favorite, but they're here. You know, I'm not yep. gonna, certainly not going to swap them out at this point. And they're fine. You know, I'm just not big on uh, if I can, you know, buy not two seventy fives. Yeah, two seventy fives. Well, I think almost all solar panels are made in China, right? Uh, no, no. There's well, it used to be Solar World was making them in Oregon, and then oh, SunPower bought them, and I don't know what's going on anymore. So I yeah. buy LGs out of Korea, except for they probably go to China too. Yeah, <laughs> maybe do? Chinese sells. Yeah, what are you going to do? Exactly. It's a, it's a it's a big world these days. Cool. So, yeah. Well, here here's the camp out spot over here in the shade structure. Um, we're also having a little mini burn mini party yeah yeah we got uh we've got our camp here uh, yeah yeah so it's super cool. fun seeing this guy we don't get to see very often this is a super treat <laughs> love you buddy <laughs> so uh yeah and i got my dream team between uh, you and humpty and nate um you know i'm um i, I feel very well taken care of cool <laughs> <laughs> right on well let's yeah. get let's get this battery working let's do it